Well, hello there, the children. Welcome. I'm Mr. Patterson. And I'm Miss Welsh. She's so tall. We have a project for you. Yay! So you guys are gonna make uh, you're gonna adopt an element. Yes, just like I adopted a puppy, but Ooh. cooler. When you adopt the element, you're gonna be making a little name card for it because what's cooler than having an element adopted than making a sweet name card for it? Yeah. How exciting! It's like a name tag. We've got a list of parameters for you. Well, those are kind of boring. So let's look at this slide here. Right in the middle, you'll put your element's name. You'll put your name. You can give it a cool theme so it's not a lame white background. Otherwise, boring. Yeah, it's boring. It's I terrible. I fall asleep watching. I fall asleep. I'm about to fall asleep just looking at I this. I know. I need to up a little. You can add some other things. Just don't make it too crazy because we don't want to distract from the main message, which is your name, your element, and a picture of the element in its natural form. And... When it says delete any text boxes like these who are done, delete them. Make sure you do that before you try and turn it in. Otherwise, we'll be upset. On the second slide, oh, it's your favorite game. Pen game. Nice. Over here, make sure we're looking at its natural form. So we're looking at the most common isotope, just like we've talked about on the periodic table. Got to round that number. Give us uh, electrons, protons, give us neutrons, yes? Yes. Totally yes. Totally yes. And then over here, you'll put a picture. This will be the, the symbol from the periodic table, right? Make sure that you have the atomic mass and the atomic number in their proper place. Don't mix them up. And then on the third slide, you'll be making a Bohr model. What's that you say? Yeah. You're not great at Bohr models? Don't worry. We'll practice till you get there. I was a little too. Uh, Miss Welsh, how can we make sure that they're not all doing the same element, though? <sighs> Well, good thing that we made a spreadsheet. You put all of your fancy little names, first name, last name, teacher, period, cohort, all that fun jazz. And how are we assigning them? Well, you guys get to pick because picking is more fun. So you find over here is the list of elements that you can choose from because we don't want it to get too out of hand. Let's say I'm Jordan Huffman. Yay. I have, Shout out to Jordan. I have Miss Welsh. And let's say I want to do arsenic. I'll come to arsenic and I will hit control X on the keyboard. See how the box changed slightly? Maybe you didn't notice. You could rewind and watch again. Then you find your name, Jordan Huffman. You click in the highlighted element column, hit control V for paste. Boom. Now Jordan's doing arsenic. Nobody else can pick arsenic. See, it's gone. Yeah. Don't fight over them. Wait, what if my name's Hunter Trace? I'm just like, heck nah, I'm doing arsenic. That That's an illegal move. That's illegal. That's illegal. Once someone's taken the element, it's their element. No stealing or trading from each other. If, if listen, listen. You guys, you guys mess this up for me and I have to go in and make a whole form to assign elements. I'm going to be very grumpy and bad things are going to happen. Are we clear? Grumpy Mr. Patterson. My students tell me I'm scared. Yeah, anybody under five is scared. Especially on a box. Yeah. Not even scary. Make sure you go through what goes into your project. But basically, remember, we're adopting just like Miss Welsh adopted her dog. You need to tell us at the glance. That's what we've looked at so far. But as we move on throughout the quarter, we'll also talk about its social issues, its birth information, and just some general information overall. Yeah. Make sure you're ready to tell us something fun about your element. And by fun, uh, Miss Welsh does, it's an element. Is that fun? No, that's not fun. That's boring. Yeah, super boring. Make it fun. Yeah. All right. Bibliography. Remember when we talked about credible sources? You need at least three credible websites. We can help you with this. If you don't know if it's credible or not, ask us. I love looking at websites. Yeah, it's so fun. Down here is your grading scale, and you'll notice this is worth a large amount of points because it's a large amount of work. I'd like to point out number seven. Number seven? Yes. Creativity. Yes. Creativity very important. I don't want to fall asleep. Oh. So you're saying that they should choose a fun theme? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I almost nice. even typed it. Nice. Like nice. it was meant to be there or something. Oh, uh, what's going to happen with these when they're all done? Oh, when they're all done? Where are they going to go? Yeah, where are they going to go? They're going to go in the hallway. Oh, sweet. Yeah. We're going to make a periodic table. Where And where are we, where are we going to hang this periodic table? In the hallway? Like, yeah, like, like real big? Said, like real big. Like other names going to go on it? Like their names are going to go on it, so you're going to oh. want it to be kind of like, you don't want to put your name. Our names will be by it because you're our students. Yeah. You don't want to make us look don't bad. Don't make us look bad. It's going to be, you're, it's right by the office. Yeah, Everyone's it's right next to it. my room. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's got to look right good. It's right next to my room. It's don't make, look don't make us look bad. If you have any questions, 
Ask us. Yes. Make sure, like, so many ways to ask us. You'll see us in class. You have our emails. You've got my cell phone number. You don't you can, have my cell phone you number. You can comment on Google Classroom. <laughs> it's super easy. Literally, super easy. It all comes, all comes to the same place, which is us. We're cool. Yeah, super cool. Super cool. Got fun party, guys. Get ready to adopt an element. Woohoo.